Hi there, my name is Helen. I'm a co-founder of The Sea List along with Lisa Potter Dixon and I thought I would share my story with you today. So it was two years ago in 2018 when I was getting ready for work one morning. I'm a features editor for the ITV Lorraine show and I jumped out of the shower and I was checking myself and I found a lump and actually I wasn't checking myself. That's not true. I was putting moisturiser on my body and I found a lump. And the it didn't worry me. I wasn't concerned. I was 39 years old. I don't have any family history of cancer. I'm relatively fit and well and for cancer, for breast cancer, you know, I was, you know, young really. Um, but anyway, like the good girl guy that I that I am, I went off to the GP and uh, she had a feel and she could feel the lump and she said, yeah, it's likely to be hormonal, uh, but let's get a breast consultant to have a look. So two weeks later, um, I went to see a breast consultant and she said that it could be hormonal, but I'd in that time had another four lumps had grown. So I now had, I was presenting with five lumps and she said, no, we need, to, we need to give you a mammogram just to make sure. So I had a mammogram on the spot. I had a, a biopsy and an ultrasound. And they said, look, come back in a few days for the results. You know what? I was, at that time, caring for a mum with dementia. I th had three very busy young children, a full-time job. I didn't have time for cancer. <laughs> um, but I was also about to turn 40 the next week. Um, so my sort of head was full of a to-do list of where am I going to have my party, how much booze do I, do I need to order, um, but those few days later I went back to see my consultant and she told me the news that I never ever thought I would ever hear, and that is that you have grade 3 invasive breast cancer. Now there is no grade 4, which means that grade 3 was the most aggressive that you can get. It meant that it was sort of on a mission to travel. Um, so instead of having my 40th birthday party the following week, I actually had a mastectomy. I had followed by a lymph node surgery two weeks later because they'd found it had gone to my lymph nodes. I then had 16 rounds of chemo, 15 rounds of radio. I then had 17 rounds of targeted hormonal um, therapy. And I am now on 10 years of uh, of medication that I need to take um, to try and prevent it from coming back again and yeah like how did that happen that wasn't supposed to happen to me and so many people say to me you know how how did you feel when you were told and I just I can only describe it as feeling completely winded and kind of like why me like why have I why have I got it and what I've come to realize is, is why not me you know cancer happens to one in two of us which is quite a horrible fact um, but breast cancer especially it's the most common diagnosed cancer in women so one in seven of us um, are affected by it it's actually one woman every 10 minutes that's diagnosed with breast cancer and it's one man every day so when I was getting prepared to go for chemo, my, um, my breast nurse said to me, and my oncologist, like, you need to rethink your bathroom cabinet, you need to rethink your makeup bag, uh, because you need to use much more sensitive products. So off I trotted down to my local high street with my list of, you know, shampoo, conditioner, body cream, every, everything that you needed. And um, I went in and I, I remember saying to the woman that worked in there, do you know if I can, you know, is this like really good for sensitive skin? Do you know if I can use it? Because I'm about to go on chemo. And she was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't know, I wouldn't want to say. And I remember thinking, God, you know what? I've just lost a boob. I'm about to lose my hair. And now I potentially can't put makeup on. Like, what is the deal with that? So, you know what? Beauty, my beauty regime came, became quite a sticking point for me because I really wanted to feel as much like me as possible um, so yeah that's why I got to work on the sea list with the lovely Lisa Potter Dixon who is uh, a friend she's been a friend for a long time and 
we decided that we would pull this list together of products that obviously you have to you know run it by your oncologist if you're not sure but all we've done is curated a list of all the top brands that um that wanted to get involved with us and we've put them into one easy stop shop is that a thing um but we hope that you find something here that's good for you. But anyway, it's more than just products. There's going to be tutorials on here and we're going to be setting up a Facebook page as well so that we can create a community. Uh, but all in all, I'm just really glad to be doing something proactive. And I'm now through my sort of intensive cancer treatment, which is amazing. I've made many friends along the way. Um, and I am just glad to be getting my teeth stuck into something, I guess. Um, so I hope you join me on this journey and uh, do recommend any products my way.